around to the end of the video and we will show you the postcode and coordinates of where we stayed on this trip. What's going on Boho Family Adventure? Welcome back to another episode of our journey of going from a nine to five to living outside full time. Not doing too bad. We've been traveling and living in our camper van Savannah since April. And yep, there's been ups and downs as you can see from previous videos, um, but we are really enjoying it. Everything's going to plan, touch wood. Um, and today we are starting our adventure through the Jurassic Coast. So the last video, you saw we were in Bath and we had a great time there and enjoyed the beautiful sights of Bath. Um, now we are going through the Jurassic Coast, starting off at Durdle Door, which is a place Carla has wanted to go for years. So it's gonna be really cool to go down there and we're gonna film it all for you guys um, before we move a bit further to Torquay, uh, where we're gonna get a campsite booked for the night, um, which we're not gonna be showing you guys. Um, but we are going to take on our adventure through the Jurassic Coast and Durdle Door. It's gonna be lots of beautiful scenic views. So uh, yeah, we wanna, oh, what's going on here? Whoop. We want you to come along with us. The ladies are just getting ready in Savannah and uh, we've got a nice journey ahead. So as always, if you do enjoy our content and you do want to follow us on our adventures, just simply click the follow, like, and drop us a comment, let us know you are following. Uh, or if you want to follow us on Instagram or TikTok or uh, Facebook, it's boho underscore family adventure. Right then, let's go Jurassic. Hi, Indy. Hey, hey. it's big. We are off to the beach, we're off to Durdle Door. Durdle door, Durdle's door, Durdle, the Durdle door, one of them. Um, we're actually only about half an hour away, I think, which is insane because we didn't realise we were. So we're going to head down there now and take you along with us. Indy? Yes, yes, I'm big. Basically, we're just going to the beach. Kyla, you okay? Oh, wait there. Oh, there you are. You okay? All good. All good. Savannah? She's okay. She's a good girl. Right, let's go to Durdle, to Durdle's. Everybody. Oh, where are you? You're there somewhere. Well, we're here, we just got to the car park uh, at where we parked for Durdle Door, and it's £20 for anything above 5.5 metres uh, for the day. Can't stay for a couple of hours, you have to pay for the whole day. So uh, that's fun. Um, it's about a 25 minute walk to Durdle Door. Um, so we're going to come down and find some lunch and go to the bay first. That is a busy car park. Bank holiday. Bit of an update, we were going to go to Doodle Door uh, after we went to the little cove. We got there, it was okay. Uh, and then within 15 minutes, there must have been 
thousands of people turn up. It was so busy. We couldn't even sit down properly without kind of dogs running by you, getting you like kicking up dirt on you. Um, people like literally sitting on your lap. So we're like, okay, we're gonna get some food. Um, and we asked for a plate of chips uh, from the chippy and it was a 45 minute wait for chips. Um, so we thought, do you know what? Let's just knock it on the head and leave. We paid 20 pounds to park here because vans don't have any other option. Um, so cars can pay four pound or six pound, vans have to pay 20, uh, which is absolutely terrible. We thought we were gonna get a full day here, but we haven't. So we're gonna go on a mini adventure and we're gonna find somewhere new, aren't we? Yes, we are. It was too busy, wasn't it? Stupidly busy. It was. It's not even fun when it's that busy. You couldn't move, like, obviously the boat trips and stuff are coming out as well um it's not a sandy beach so you do have to kind of be careful where you walk um but there's like hundreds of dogs and thousands of people on a tiny little beach um <clears throat> which isn't for us we prefer it a lot quieter uh, which is why we're going to get some food but then that was a delay as well so we just had food in the van and we are going to cut our losses and go find somewhere a bit more quieter uh, so uh maybe we'll come back and see doodle's door someday but uh, definitely not today so we've got bacon which is a win because we both wanted bacon for a while and we always keep forgetting to pick it up we found a little post off this local shop um just where we were parked up uh wait there we shut this window you might be able to hear me better um and we've got some uh local bacon local bread some bread sauce and we are going to have bacon tomorrow bacon. Hi, and bacon tomorrow indeed should you have bacon tomorrow Yes, it's a bee! And do you want to show them your, your bangle? Yes, bacon! Show it then. Look. Look. We're making a good, good day out of a bad day. Can't be for me. So we are heading to Seaton, I think. Um, and we have got, <coughs> uh, hopefully, somewhere to park there. Um, running, running joke if you've watched this series. Uh, we're parking on the Esplanade. Say, say it, innit? Esplanade. We're going to go park on the Esplanade. Apparently, it's twelve pounds, um, eight pounds for a whole night. So we're going to park there one or two nights. We'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah, hopefully, we will get some nice time there and enjoy it. And it won't be like coming out of a football match. There were so many people there, weren't there? There was literally, um, we were like the 19th row back on the car park in this field. Um, and by the way, if uh, no one will ever watch this video who works for that car park, but the fact you charge £20 for anything bigger than a car and you can't pay for half a day and it's £20 when a car is only six, you are dick turping without a mask, my friend. Terrible. Anyway, let's go and see Seaton. Uh, that's a joke. Indy. Say bye bye. No. Say bye bye. No. Why? Yes. Oh, you got your. Okay, say see you soon. Yes. There you go. Fluffy, crazy hair. <laughs> so we made it to Seaton and we've got a parking spot, haven't we? We have. Uh, so we will be here until nine o'clock in the morning. Um, and then we'll go from there, see where we are. Stunning views, it did say on the internet this was a sandy beach. They lied. I think somebody needs to get their eyes tested. But we're just gonna have a walk up the Esplanade and see what the crack is.
it looks like there's something up there like uh it's called season jurassic watch out indy please indy show you what have you won yes it's a pineapple squidgy pineapple mommy yeah. what have you won no it's not what you think It is a pineapple, squidgy one. Do you want a pie? Do you want an ice cream? Yes, ice cream. Ice cream here. Look, ice cream here. Ice cream here. Look, ice cream here. Wow, look at the beach. Wait. Okay. Mum, mummy, here we go. Oh, hello. Uh, turn around so you can see mummy. Mummy. Oh, hi. What are mommy. you doing? I'm eating breakfast every time. Oh, right, okay. Daddy, you say, Daddy. I'm eating strawberries. Yes. Yeah. Do you like strawberries? Yes, I love them. Should we see Indy? Hi. See mommy. Tell, tell them a story. You want to see mommy? Hi. Hi, baby. Do it again, mommy. Are you doing it? <laughs> mommy, baby, see you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mommy, remember. See you, mommy. Let's have a look then. Mommy. Peekaboo. I see you. <laughs> So we've been in Seaton now for the afternoon and the views are stunning, as you have seen. Uh, Indy, get your ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream and rock. Um, Carla, you okay? Yeah, all good. Oh, you there? Oh, there she is. Eating nice ice cream. I got lumbered with bubble gum because Indy didn't like it. Not good times. But, uh, but yeah, so highly recommended. Cheap park up. Uh, we do have to be gone for either uh, nine o'clock in the morning, we can pay for another four hours, take us to one. So we'll probably have lunch and leave as we head down to Cornwall tomorrow, which is the main goal, isn't it? Spending a few uh, a few weeks in Port in Cornwall. Nice, we get to Port that quick in Cornwall. So uh, from me, Matt, Indy, say bye bye. Yes, we are. Say bye bye. No, I did. No, she wants to show you rocks first. You can say goodbye to everybody. No. Are you going to wave? Oh, oh, uh, and bye bye from Kyla. Say bye. This is way more chilled out, and to be honest, the beach is massive as well, so there's loads more room. So make sure you check Seaton out. Um, is it Seaton? Yeah, Seaton. I'm terrible with place names. Um, it's a stony beach, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, it's got thumbs up. Don't forget, you can go to our Instagram for daily updates. So that's boho underscore family adventure. And you can also go on Facebook for the same boho underscore family underscore adventure. Uh, but if not, please like, follow, comment and all that stuff. It does really appreciate it. We'd love to get to know more of you traveling as well. Uh, and let us know, have you been down the Jurassic Coast and where is your favorite place? Hello adventurers. Um, we thought we'd give you a real time update um, of how van life actually is and how a lovely day can turn into a terrible day very quickly. So as you've seen from the video, we went somewhere, it wasn't for us, we moved, we found somewhere else which is really cool. Hi Indy, <laughs> say hi. Um, which was a bit, bit better, well, a lot better for us. We're on the seaside, it's it's great. Yeah. Um, so, Indy, say hello. Hi. Hi. So we are parked on the Esplanade in Seaton. We go for some fish and chips. We go, we go for some fish and chips and we go for uh, a drink, which is great. Um, then we go to leave and we can't find the van keys like anywhere and we instantly go into full panic mode like bricking it cars emptying bags all over the place under the push chair pockets honestly absolutely nerve-wracking made, made you feel sick didn't it 
Yes, that was our home. Like, what would we, what would we even yeah. do and if we, we lost the key? We still haven't got a spare key, which That's is stupid. really bad and very stupid. stupid. We know this, <laughs> and we need to get it done. Um, but it, it was horrible, horrible. To top it off, where we were had no phone signal, so we couldn't like run around and ring each other trying to look for it or anything like that. So, luckily, we have an air tag on our keys and I run it down the promenade area to find a signal. And when I got a signal, it told me I was near the key, which is super lucky. And what we think's happened was, it, as we went to put it in the bag, we may have missed the zip or I missed the zip or whatever. And it fell on the floor right by the van. Now, that's lucky for us to find it, but it was lucky for someone else who didn't because they literally had our whole life in the van waiting to go. Um, easily the worst feeling I've had in this van. How about you? <laughs> it was horrific. It was absolutely, and oh, it made us feel so sick to the point that we were just like, just get in the van, let's just chill and just have five minutes and, and sort it out. But then to stop it off this morning, I lost the bank card. Luckily, a lovely camper van next to us saw me drop it out of my pocket and pass it back to me. But what a fool. Moral of the story is, don't trust me with anything. No. So I'm, not allowed, anything I'm not allowed nothing from now on. At all. Because it was probably me who dropped the key as well. Don't you nod. <laughs> um, oh, and to top it off, the van wasn't even locked. I don't even know how that even So happened. I don't even know that happens because we normally check and check again. But um, I think it was just one of those days yesterday. It was a funky, weird day. It was such a weird day. Everything felt like it was going the opposite way we wanted it to. Yeah. So we've turned it around today. The ladies have already been to the beach. I've already been to the shop. We're tidy up. We're ready to go. We've got some nice lunch and some nice tea ready. And we're going to go visit a tiny little village called Widdicombe on Stowe, I think it's called, as we move through a bit further into Cornwall and go into places like Camelot and Penzance and Land's End and everything. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Real Van Life with Matt, Kyla. Say bye-bye, Indy. Take hey, me out. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. No. <laughs> and we will see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and make sure you drop us a comment and let us know how your travels are going. Thanks again for watching. Take care and happy travels.